good place to start would just be to discuss your, your working relationship, um, both prior to the films you've collaborated on as directors, mm -hmm. and then move into those. Yeah, sure. You start. I start? No, you start. No, you start. No, you, you start. It's a super director. So you start. I see you, sir. Um, it's it's very simple. So we um, usually Jean Rui works. No, first thing I can start. Yeah. Yeah. She's not coming. Okay. Oh, there. Yeah. Um. So the first thing we did together, me and uh, Jean Rui Mata, was what did we did together. We worked in a. Uh, we did the costumes for a film. Yes, that's what we did. Yeah, for a friend yeah. of us, and um, and I think I guess that's when Jean Rui started. Think that you could do yeah okay so basically I did not do film school uh, my background is graphic design and so Joao um, this good friend of ours um, um, he asked Joao to be like his uh, to like uh, to costume it's not costume design really it's, it's more choose like the costumes wardrobe. for a film yeah mm -hmm. for a film and I had just just met Joao, and um, and uh, he asked me to be like his assistant, right? And so yeah, so that was like the first time I ever worked in a film, I suppose. And yeah, and I got interested in doing it, but and I start thinking about like um, about just doing like decoration on the film and um, costumes separately didn't, didn't really make sense. So I decided to start thinking about things as, you know, art direction, production designing and having like an art department. Although of course in Portugal an art department is basically <laughs> two people, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's it. And. Um and then I made my first short uh, in 1997 and I was looking for actors for that short for a long time and um, suddenly I realized that uh, the actor should be him and so which was pretty weird <laughs> yes it was weird and it was never acted but my idea of doing, I never, when I started making films, I didn't want to work with actors. Because I, I don't know, I could say that I don't like actors or I, I didn't like actors. Um, and uh, perhaps I've changed a little bit I and mean, I don't think it's as, at that time I really thought I didn't like actors. It was like a, I was very influenced by Bresson, mm. and uh, so that was my thing. I didn't like actors, so I didn't want to. F I didn't even look into actors for the characters of my f of my films. I was just looking for people in the streets or whatever. And I, and I was I was like the casting manager for for jean Pierre's short film, so I was basically scouting people on the streets, clubs, wherever, for um, an aspect to come for auditions. Casting Honestly. manager seems a very yes, but <laughs> pompous word because we were just like three people doing the film or four people. So. Yeah, but that's what I was doing actually. Yes, but so I always like this idea of do several, the same people doing several jobs in a film. and. Um, and that's why, so, I had to convince Jean Rui, in a way, to be the actor. I don't remember any very well. 
how it went. I do, so. but it doesn't really matter. No, it, I so mean, uh, it wasn't easy. And then we shot the film. I shot the film myself. It was made in in mini DV, mini DV. Mm -hmm. You say it, mini DV. Um, and then it was transferred for into film, but at that time transferring video into film was very expensive, and so it wasn't really transferred. What I did, we did, we, we shot the screen of a, a TV with a 35 millimeter camera, and so it, <laughs> that transfer looks really <laughs> crappy. Uh, but at that time also the film went to Venice Film Festival, and at that time video was not uh, there was little there was a lot of uh, especially experimental uh, filmmakers that were doing things in video but like I don't know more fiction films were not being made in you know, on films so much and so um, in order the film to screen in Venice we had to have a 35 millimeter print so that's what we did we and we there was not those the scanning facilities that there are now, or they were more expensive. But it's, it was different. Also, I don't I don't really understand very much about techniques. But uh, so that's what you did. So basically, in the end, what we got was like this film that was shot in video, then shot in thirty five from a TV, TV screen. screen. So it added like the texture of film and texture of video. It was very funny because <laughs> it was a bit like some of the shots were are are kind of light, others are much darker. So we had to shoot the film twice and um, with different exposures because we couldn't change the exp exposure during the during the shooting, the actual shooting, and so and then we had to edit. <laughs> The, the film again <laughs> and to put the, the, the shots like the, be the better versions of the ones with the better versions of the others and uh, and so we got the 35 millimeter print yeah and it went to Venice and got like a special mention for the jury but it was it was kind of kind of big in, in, in Portugal because it was probably like one of the first short films that actually Actually, how shall I put it? That not many short films were done at the time. Yes, and that it was like the beginning of the, these all these sh short film movements. Because before, people directors there were not so many. Film school had stopped for a while, and so there were not so many new directors uh, uh, making films, and uh, and usually directors when they start. Uh, start with with making shorts by making shorts because yeah for all reasons and um, and so yeah it was one of the first of those then there were now there's a lot of shorts yeah but made. then there was like almost like this movement that, that, that um, the media especially like the uh, cinema cinema magazines and uh, critics called the um, uh, short film generation. And on that, on, on that short film generation, you had, like, for example, Miguel Gomes, who was about to start. And, um, Because yeah. Miguel Gomes started after me, because after he, him, yeah. he started... And he made, he made several shorts.